Hey everyone, welcome. Today we're diving into the mind-blowing world of quantum mechanics, specifically something called the quantum vacuum. It's a fascinating concept that challenges our understanding of empty space. Now, when we think of a vacuum, we usually picture empty space, right? Nothing there at all, just a void with no particles, no air, nothing. But in quantum mechanics, it's a whole different story. The so-called empty space is actually teeming with activity at the quantum level. The quantum vacuum is actually a buzzing sea of energy, even without any matter. It's like an invisible ocean of fluctuating energy fields. Think of a calm pond. On the surface, it looks smooth and still. But underneath, at a tiny level, there's always movement, little ripples and vibrations. These subtle movements are similar to what happens in the quantum vacuum. That's kind of like the quantum vacuum. It's always active at the smallest level with constant fluctuations and energy exchanges. It's always active at the smallest level. These fluctuations are happening all the time, even though we can't see them with the naked eye. One of the coolest proofs of this is something called the Casimir effect. This phenomenon shows the tangible effects of quantum vacuum fluctuations. We'll talk more about that later. Stay tuned for an in-depth look at this fascinating effect. Understanding the quantum vacuum could open up amazing possibilities, like maybe even limitless clean energy. Imagine harnessing this energy for sustainable and revolutionary technologies. So what powers this buzzing vacuum? What is the source of this seemingly endless energy that exists even in the emptiest of spaces? It's something called zero-point energy. This is the energy that remains when all other energy is removed from a system. This is the lowest possible energy anything can have, even at absolute zero, the coldest temperature possible. At this point, all classical motion of particles ceases. See, in the quantum world, there's a rule called the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. This principle is fundamental to quantum mechanics. It says you can't know exactly where something is and how fast it's moving at the same time. This inherent uncertainty gives rise to fascinating phenomena. So, even in a vacuum, tiny particles are constantly popping in and out of existence. These particles are fleeting and ephemeral. These are called virtual particles. They are not directly observable, but have measurable effects. Imagine a pot of water. Even when the stove's off, the water molecules are still moving a little. This residual motion is akin to zero-point energy. Even when the stove's off, the water molecules are still moving a little. This residual motion is akin to zero-point energy. Now imagine cooling it down to absolute zero. At this temperature, classical physics would predict that all motion stops. Normally, everything would freeze still. But quantum mechanics tells us a different story. But in the quantum world, there's still a little bit of movement and energy thanks to the uncertainty principle. This is the essence of zero-point energy. This constant popping in and out of virtual particles creates a sea of energy everywhere. This sea of energy is what we call the quantum vacuum, a dynamic and ever-changing field. Zero-point energy isn't just a theory. It's a fascinating concept that has intrigued scientists for decades. We've actually seen it in action thanks to the Casimir effect, which is a physical force arising from zero-point energy. In 1948, a physicist named Hendrik Casimir predicted that if you put two metal plates really close together in a vacuum, they'd be pulled towards each other due to this mysterious force. This happens because of the quantum vacuum fluctuations, where virtual particles constantly appear and disappear. And guess what? Scientists proved it in 1997. They conducted experiments that confirmed Casimir's prediction. They actually measured this tiny force with incredible precision using advanced equipment. They've even learned to reverse it, making the plates push apart instead of pull together. This is known as the reverse Casimir effect. This opens up some really cool possibilities for nanotechnology, like building tiny machines that could revolutionize various fields from medicine to engineering. Zero-point energy has always been a big deal in science fiction. Think warp drives in Star Trek. They use matter-antimatter reactions to tap into zero-point energy. While we're not warping around space yet, these stories show how exciting zero-point energy is. Imagine a world with no energy shortages, with clean energy for everyone. Harnessing zero-point energy would be amazing, but it's really, really hard. 
The energy is there, but getting it out is like trying to catch smoke. It's super tricky, but scientists aren't giving up. New discoveries in nanotechnology, materials, and quantum computing are giving us new tools and ideas. Even if we don't achieve limitless clean energy right away, this research is pushing the boundaries of what we know, and that's always a good thing. Who knows what amazing things we'll discover along the way.